How's it going everyone and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater HD Edition. I think we're heading the right track. Okay, Weapons Lab East Wing. That's where they said and that's where I'm going. Oh shit. Oh well. There's a couple of guards here already. Security's tight. Keep walking away. There's nothing down down this way. Good. Okay. Let's head around the back. Um. <coughs> Shit, that was too close. Speak. Give me some answers. The door will open with frequency 145.86. Thank you. 145.86. Okay, I'll try and remember that. I'll go find out what door it is, too. Could be any bloody door. Shit. Alright. I need some hints. I need some suggestions. Good. You've infiltrated the East Wing. Rykoff should be somewhere in that building. Take him down and steal his clothes. But you can't simply wander around the enemy's home base looking like that. For now, disguise yourself as a scientist while you look for Rykov. Rykov is somewhere within the East Wing. Find him and dispatch him. Shit, wrong button. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, let's do that then. Camouflage. We need to take our face paint off. We don't want to look like that. That's just a no-goer. Chuck on our scientist outfit. That's fine and riding. What do we got in here? Anything? Nothing? Something? Nothing. Okay. Hey dude, don't mind me, I'm just on my lunch break. <laughs> what do we have here? Snake. That door can't be opened by normal means. Apparently, it operates by responding to a specific radio frequency. Ah, if you okay. want to know the key frequency, why don't you try asking someone? Oh shit! No. All right. One four five one. Yeah, one one four five point eight one. I think. How do I? Snake, that door. Yeah, I know. I... Okay, one four five. around there somewhere. What? Was it... Oh, do I forget that already? Gee. Alright, let's go to... Oh, I've got the toilets in here. Let's take a piss. Oh, yes. Oops, uh, much better. Have a piss. Anybody in here? No. No one's taking a dump. Alright. I'm gonna have a feed now. I need some food. The stamina's looking a little pale. I'll, wait, I'll eat you up. Hey, that's good? That's awesome. That, that's, no, that's good. That's good. Um, okay. I'm guessing that's the door I need to get into to find Ryden. Shit. Just a scientist. I'm minding my own business. Shit. Talking about scientist. Let's go check upstairs. Alright. What have we in here? In Okay, we got some. We got a lot of lockers in here. Ah, locked. 
No, snake. If it's locked, it's locked. You don't fucking try the second time. Ah, here we go. What's that a picture of? Some lady. No, that's a better picture. That's a better picture. So much better. Alright. Oh, here we go. Locked. Ah. Oh. Most of them are locked. Ah, oh, I can't be bothered opening them up. Oh, we'll go this way. Nope. Ah. Oh. That bloody frog. That green frog. Hang on a second, guys. I think they might be talking about this door. No. Is that it? <laughs> oh wow. That's not a radio station, right? Oh, oh, okay, you can save him in here. Right. I think that's what the guy gave me. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Alright, he didn't give me the information about the door, but he gave me some radio to listen to. Sweet, I think. <laughs> Uh, oh shit. Hang on. No, that's definitely, that's definitely right in there. Just, let's just follow him. Okay. So, what I've, so I've now I've found him. No. I don't want to save yet. Snake, let's go over the controls for C... I don't want. I know it's all. I know all about CQC. Snake, remember that this operation is a solo sneaking mission. We'll be providing you with support over the radio, but out in the field, you're on your own. There's no backup. Yeah, no and there's shit. There's no way you'll survive a battle with a large enemy contingent. Avoid engagement whenever possible. Your highest priority in this mission is staying out of sight. Yep. He's. A uh, he's, not, he's not giving me any information. Snake, enemy soldiers who operate indoors aren't equipped with radios. To communicate... Uh, whatever. I'm just going to fo follow Ryden. I need, I need to take his clothes off. Yeah, we'll, we'll, slowly, we'll slowly get there. Alright. I think I'm gonna have to knock his ass out. Here we go. Stand up. Oh shit. Someone heard it. I don't know where, but someone did. Okay, now, now what do we do? Okay. Yeah, Good. cool, Major. You've taken care of Rykov. Now yep. to take those clothes he's wearing. How? But don't take his clothes off there, out in the open. It's far too conspicuous. Also, once you've disguised yourself as Rykov, you'll need to find some place to hide the real Rykov's body. There must be a place where you can take Rykov's clothes and hide his body. Drag Rykov's body over there. Eva might know a suitable location. Try asking her. Be careful not to wake Rykov up while you're dragging him, and make sure you're not seen by enemy soldiers or scientists. Yeah, that won't end. That won't end well at all. Ask Eva. Okay. You took care of Rykov. Good. Now drag him to the locker room. There shouldn't be anyone in there. 
You won't need to worry about anyone seeing you take his clothes, and you can hide his body too. The locker uh, room yes. is on the oh. southwest side of the second floor. That is awesome because uh, I know all about the locker room. So it's just around the corner over there. So, oh, where, where, where? Oh, get over there! Get him! The Nothing's happening here. Oh, that's brilliant. It's a good thing I followed him, followed his ass up here. Because if I try to knock him, oh shit, there's a guy. If I try to knock his ass down the bottom. Oh, here we go. We're getting somewhere. Fair enough. Grabbing by the nipples. All right. So now, do we get we get changed into his clothes? Now, I'm guessing. Go into our backpack. Ah, sorry, not the backpack. Our camouflage gear. Officer. And now Oh yes. We we look like him right now. Yep. We actually do. Awesome. I'm guessing we can go this go up this way now. Hopefully. Holy shit, that's a bit of distance. Anybody up here? Oh, no. It's locked. Let's, we'll have to go this way. Holy shit, there's a couple of guards. or di Not actually guards, they're dickheads. That's the Shagohog back there, over there. West Wing Corridor. Alright. Oh shit, we got two guards. That's alright, we don't we don't need to worry, I don't think. As long as we don't hit them or anything. That's right. A major sir to you. And okay, now where we are. Here it is. Who was that? Oh, Holy shit, Sokolov. What the hell is that? You can count on me. What about the philosopher's legacy? I don't know anything about that. What are you? Are you trying to kill me? What's the matter? <gasps> Nothing, I swear it. No one but the Colonel knows of the legacy. I see. No, don't! Oh. <laughs> He's gonna kill him. <laughs> oh shit. I thought she'd seen us then. Who's there? 
He know who it You're is. You're the man from the CIA. What are you doing here? Come to get I your ass you out of here. Didn't I? I'm going to get you out of here. <laughs> A man of honor, just like your commander. But I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? Don't tell me. The Shagahods. <laughs> exactly. The final preparations for Phase 2 are complete. So, Glove, what exactly is Phase 2? That's a to good put question. It in technical terms, it's a composite range extension system for medium range ballistic missiles. The Shagahod was originally designed as a tank that could launch nuclear missiles from any type of terrain. There was just one problem we couldn't figure out how to solve. And what's that? The ICBMs we have today are simply too big for the Shagohod to carry. But the military would not hear of it. They demanded a weapon that could launch a nuclear missile directly into the American homeland. That is when I came up with the idea for Phase 2. But there's no way you could load an ICBM onto the Shagohod. So how do you do it? By accelerating the Shagohod itself. Accelerating All right. it? In Phase 2, a rocket booster unit is attached to the frame of the Shagohod. The unit incorporates so the like same technology like, used like in the nitrous. Vostok rocket that sent Major Gagarin into space. Using this booster, the Shagohod can achieve a land speed of over 300 miles per hour. Holy that shit. That monster can go more than 300 miles per hour? Yes. <laughs> and from this state <laughs> Holy of shit, look at it motion, it launches a nuclear missile. So, the Shagohod acts like the first stage of a rocket. Yes, precisely. <laughs> Precisely. The range of the missile launched by the Shagohod thus increases from 2,500 miles to 6,000 miles. 6,000 miles? Wow. That's enough to strike anywhere in the United States. Not only that, with the Shagohod, there's no need to construct giant silos like the ones used to house ICBMs. All you need is a runway about three miles in length, or its equivalent. And you can launch a thermonuclear strike against any location in the United States from anywhere in the Soviet Union. It Shit. cannot be detected by spy planes or satellites. It's a mobile fortress capable of deploying in secret and launching its payload at any time. A weapon from hell. <laughs> what a what a weapon, though. A thing that. The thing that weighs so a much for over 300 now, miles per hour. Like, At present, like it is the only one of its kind. But I thought it was there too. To mass produce them based on that prototype. And deploy them all over the Soviet Union. Yes, and that's not the end of it. He's going to ship them to Eastern Europe, to Asia, to all the countries of the Eastern Bloc. Even worse, he intends to use the Shagohod as bait to foment armed uprisings among dictators, ethnic insurgents, and revolutionary groups throughout the Third World. His funds are nearly limitless. He could start mass production tomorrow if he wanted. The reason that tensions between East and West have settled into a Cold War is because each side fears the other's power. Deterrence. The idea of using threats to keep one's enemy in check is the perfect word to sum up this state of affairs. But the Shagohod goes far beyond the level of threat. It will render the concept of deterrence utterly meaningless. If such a weapon is unleashed on the world, it will not be long before all nations are engulfed in conflict. The Cold War will end and the entire planet will be consumed by the fires of war. Vulcan and the Shagohod will be at the center of it all. So you see, it's already too late. No, it's not too late. What do you mean? It's never too late. We've still got a chance. All we have to do is destroy the prototype and the whole facility before they can mass produce it. But just tell me what I need to do to destroy this place. All right. 
The liquid fuel used in the rocket engine is stored in a tank. If you can blow it up somehow... Some C3 ought to be enough to blow the entire hangar to smithereens. C3? You mean that cutting-edge plastic explosive? It could be molded into any shape. The bomb of the future. Where can I get it? There was some in the armory here, but it's gone now. It was stolen by a female spy who was here a minute ago. Eva? No, that's not her name. Her name is Tatiana. She made her way in here by becoming Vulcan's lover. I thought she was your lover. That's what I was going to say. Oh, no. She is Volgin's lover. This is my lover. Who are they? My wife and daughter. They're in America. Now I remember. Your family is in the custody of the CIA. How long has Tatiana been here? Only a few weeks. A few days before the virtuous mission, then. She said that Khrushchev sent her. What did you just give her? All of the experimental data for the Shagohod. Please, it is essential that you destroy the Shagohod. I will, but first I've got to get you to safety. <sighs> No. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna leave it I'm there for this going. part. I'll catch us on the next My one. Peace out. Have a good